Hi guys. The plan tonight is to make a little radio controlled boat but just to make it a little bit more powerful than the ones I normally make simply because I would like it to actually head into the wind when there's a bit of a breeze blowing across the lake. So instead of the toothbrush motors that I normally use I'm going to use one of the ones out of the hair dryers that I've got. Um, these are ones I've used before. I'm not quite sure what the voltage rating is on them. I think it's probably 9 volts or 12 volts, something like that. But I think they ought to be able to handle a 2 cell LiPo battery. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a 2 cell LiPo a hair dryer brushed motor and a milk bottle carton because that gives me the basic boat hull I shall just cut it along there somewhere I should probably fill it with polystyrene so that it's unsinkable and stick a little Radio Control ESC in there. If you've watched my videos recently you'll know I've recently bought a little ESC that does forwards and backwards. So that should be ideal for the boat. For the propeller I'll probably still use one of my um, garden ornament propellers. Something like that, I should think. It's not going to be the most efficient propeller, but it's a convenient one that I can get hold of easily. First thing I'll do is cut up this milk carton. So that's our hull. So I'm going to fill it. Some polystyrene just so it can't sink. work on this for a little bit just get it to fit in there that's the general idea so that'll fit inside and then I'll trim that to fit the motor and the receiver and all the rest of it there we are so that's our filling styrofoam filling I'll glue it in place eventually it may be handy to be able to remove it at the moment. So we need to fit the motor. Got a bit of bicycle spoke for the shaft, which I'll join onto there with a bit of uh, insulation off some power cable. Usually got some laying around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. makes a convenient join between the two. Propeller from a bargain store wooden windmill. So 
So there's our propeller. It's a handy bit of um, cane there. We can use that for a axle for something or other, so we won't throw it away. This is just a bit big, the hole. But it happens to be about the right size to push that in. So if we push that in like that, we've got a good tight fit. So I'll do the same on the other end. Put a little bit of this insulation on there. There we go. So we need a hole up through here. I'll put a drinking straw or something similar, a bit of plastic, for the shaft to go through. And we need to organise a rudder as well. That came in quite handy. That'll do for our shaft to go through. I should just use a drinking straw, I think, to line it. should be okay. Need to, I think I'll sink the motor in a little bit. I won't have it up on top. I'll have it down just a little to get the weight down a bit. So there we are. Receiver, on off switch, ESC, two cell lipo, hair dryer motor and fan from the garden ornament. Backwards, that's forwards, all up together. I haven't tried it in the water yet. I suspect I might need to add some weight to keep the propeller at least partially in the water because it's mounted quite high on the back of the hull there. I've done that because where I'm intending to try and float it, there's very little water and it tends to get caught in the mud on the bottom. So that's why it's so high up. Instead of coming out down here somewhere, it's at the back there. So that means more than half the propeller is shrouded by the back of the boat. But we've got the steering. And just move that back so it doesn't hit the uh, desk. So we'll find out how that does. Might be an idea to charge up the battery before we do anything. That sounds like that's dropping off a little bit there. But there we go. Hopefully a slightly more powerful boat. All I want to be able to do is head into the wind. Instead of the boat getting blown away by the wind. Because that's what usually happens because mine are so low powered. I've put nothing over the motor to protect it from the water, so if it does sink we'll get a wet motor, or if we get much spray over there we'll get a wet motor.
We'll find out.